So what a great episode. I think we're really starting to come down to the wire and we're go down to the final six. So we're getting really close to the very end of the game at this point. And it's a really good time to reevaluate who we think our potential winner picks are going to be. And also just kind of reflect on who made some big moves during the last episode, who kind of moved up and down in the rankings. For me, uh, one of the big things this episode I was worried about was the do or die twist. And I was very, very happy that Lindsay did not get screwed over by it. First of all, because I think she's a very, very high uh, winner contender. Tender, and I think she'd be a very satisfying winner at this point. Her edit has been, been getting stronger every single episode, but also because her getting kicked out, if she had left uh, this episode, all the strategizing that they did at camp would have been all completely uh, for nothing. And it would have just been so anticlimactic and bad TV, basically. So I think it was very, very lucky that she did not get taken out by the do or die game. Another thing I wanted to mention was that both seasons so far, season 41 and season 42, both of the players actually played the Monty Hall game wrong. You're supposed to switch to the other side to have a 66% chance of staying in. But somehow, both of them, despite playing wrong, actually ended up picking the correct uh, box. So that's definitely something to note. I feel like the audience members are going to think that it's correct to stay with the box. But the right answer is definitely to switch to the other one. So yeah, Lindsay, you know, competing in that challenge, she totally did not have to. And that was definitely a dumb move by her. Uh, and she, she totally understood that and regretted it afterwards. Uh, but thankfully, she did not really get too punished for it. And otherwise, she had a very solid edit this episode and uh, very positive, was still strategizing really well, doing a lot of good work. She was the one who actually convinced Omar to kind of hide Mike's idol away after Omar told her about Drea's knowledge's power advantage. So Lindsay really making some great moves this episode. Omar, again, still coming out super strong. Drea obviously getting voted out, so she's out of contention for winning at this point. And this is kind of what I expected. I, I felt like people would recognize how many advantages she had and it just at some point just decide that she's had too much power and that it's time for her to go. Marianne kind of laying low, didn't really do too much up this episode, so very neutral for me, uh, didn't move up or down. Romeo obviously got some negative content. Jonathan, I think, despite winning Immunity Challenge, continues to have a little bit of uh, sort of negative content where he was like, you know, complaining about being the provider and being really tired all the time, which is very, very true. I mean, he definitely needs way more calories than all those other people out there, but just definitely not getting any sense of winner vibes from him in terms of his edit. And then the one that I wanted to talk about, which may be controversial, is Mike. I actually think that he had a very, very overwhelmingly negative ed edit this episode, and he's going to drop very far in my rank because he's starting to get really cocky. Uh, started, uh, Omar's kind of talking about how Mike thinks he's the uh, puppet master of the game now. Basically, he's become the new high. And he's very overconfident. He's not getting a positive edit in terms of us, you know, things making us like him. And also, all the things he's suggesting to do uh, are really not going according to his plan. It's basically Omar and Lindsay's plan that's really happening. And so, and just based on all the interactions this episode, he just seemed to be have like this very kind of negative tone and negative energy to him. And I don't think they would edit a, a winner to feel like that. So uh, that was a big move for me uh, in terms of my ranking for Mike. So yeah, let's take a look at the Survivor Season 42 ratings. Uh, so if you take a look here, um, last week we had 5.6 million viewers. And this week we were down to 5.37 million viewers. Just just a little bit down, but otherwise still holding the numbers pretty good. So I think that's pretty satisfying in terms of the TV rating. All right, and this was my previous uh, tier list uh, as of last episode. So Omar in S tier, Lindsay in A tier, and then Drea and Mike in B tier. Obviously, Drea got voted out this episode, so she's going to go uh, down here. And now what are the movements I'm going to make here? So Omar, for me, is going to stay at S tier, still playing an excellent game. I think he is getting a bit of an over-the-top edit. It's just so overwhelmingly positive that it somewhat is making me think that at some point, he is going to get knocked out. He's going to be like the final boss that needs to be defeated. And so he's actually going to be a little bit lower for me. He's still S tier for potential winner, but slightly lower than my new S tier pick. And that's going to be Lindsay. So Lindsay's been getting a really a lot of good positive content. She hasn't had a single negative scene so far. And yes, she was very under the radar the first uh, half of the season, but really has had a really great social game, a very great physical game, obviously competing, the only person who can really compete with Jonathan in challenges, and a great 
strategic game as well. So she's going to be my number one winner pick at this point, with Omar being a close number two. Mike was previously B tier for me because he was playing such a great social game. But I think at this point, his social game is starting to fall apart a little bit because he's getting a little cocky. And his strategic game has actually been very poor all throughout the season. He's been promising not to vote people out and then voting them out right away. Basically, nothing's going his way. So for him, he is actually going to drop down to C tier for me. Marianne, for me, was always kind of low. I know a lot of people online and on Reddit think she has a really good shot of winning. Uh, but I think we haven't really seen her doing anything. Like, she's just been laying low. She does have an idol. You know, I think she does have a potential to win. But we would really have to see a lot of positive content from her in the next episode. And if we don't get that in the next episode, I don't think she has a shot at winning anymore because she did get a couple of negative scenes when she was annoying people early on. And then we just really haven't seen any strategizing from her at all. We just haven't gotten that much content from her. So I don't think she's got a winner edit in my opinion. Romeo obviously got a very overwhelmingly negative edit and nobody is working with him. He's voting on the wrong side every single time. So he's going to stay in D tier. Basically no chance to win. And Jonathan as well. I don't see any chance of him winning at this point. He hasn't gotten any good Good strategic gameplay going on. Uh, his social gameplay is also kind of falling down. So it's a really, really big gap right here for me. Lindsay and Omar far away above the pack in terms of their chances of winning the game. Uh, Mike and Marianne, I think, still have a chance to win if they get some good scenes in the next coming episodes. And then Romeo and Jonathan basically out of contention at this point. So do you agree with my assessment of the episode? Do you agree with my tier list? And how would you rank the potential winner picks uh, in your own tier list? Let me know down in the comments. Would love to hear what you guys think and how you guys would rank these players. And very excited for next week's episode. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.